In this small painting, dating to the 1670s, we find ourselves transported to the busy London studio of the artist Mary Beale, then at the height of her career. Beale was an extremely successful portraitist and had to work six days a week at her busiest in order to fit in her many clients. Literally and figuratively, drawing back the curtain of her studio, Mary uses this self-portrait to display her technical skills as a painter and includes several symbols of her artistic trade. She grips her artist's palette along with a bundle of brushes in her left hand. In her right hand, she holds her mall stick, a light stick with a padded leather ball at one end, used to support and steady the artist's brush hand. Taking a closer look at her palette, Mary reveals a few secrets of her artistic practice to the viewer. The outer ring of colors on the palette are the pure pigments, ground in oil. These were then mixed, ready for application on the canvas, as seen in the second row, while the darker tones in the middle of the palette were used for shadows. These colors featured in the palette act as an advertisement for the range and high quality of the pigments that Mary had at her disposal. In fact, her husband Charles was an important member of her portraiture business in this regard. Charles acted as her studio manager, took detailed notes of her practice, and worked as a color maker, preparing all of her paints and pigments. The striking red and blue drapery of Mary's garments can also be read as an advertisement for the high quality red lake and ultramarine blue pigments that Charles laboriously paired for her. For the use of these new, vibrant, and experimental pigments, Mary charged her sitters extra. This self-portrait is believed to be a pendant, meaning that it is one of two paintings conceived as a pair. It was created to hang alongside a portrait of Charles Beale, perhaps to celebrate the couple's professional partnership as husband and wife. Ultimately, this portrait represents Mary in her many facets, as artist, businesswoman, and wife. If you were to paint a self-portrait, what would you include to identify yourself? What would your portrait say about you?